Hey YouTube, I am back with another video today and what I'm going to be talking about today in this video is something that's really important in the gaming community, the retro gaming community, and that is how to spot fakes when it comes to your cartridges, your car the boxes for your cartridges and things of that nature. Because of what's been going on around the world, the pandemic, a lot of people are stuck in the house and they've been wanting to play and go back and revisit a lot of their old games and the prices on these games have skyrocketed. People have started purchasing them online, and sellers are starting to see that. So the prices have gone through the roof. But another huge issue is that people are making fake cartridges or reproduction cartridges and stuff like that. Now, some sellers will tell you it is a reproduction cart, and you'll know that going in. Sometimes it'll be hidden into the post or whatever, and you just don't see it. But the thing is, if you don't know and you purchase it, now you have a reproduction cart that's not worth basically anything for whatever you pay for for the enjoyment but if you decide to go back and sell that cartridge you're thinking it's authentic and you're trying to get top dollar for that that cart and then it's a reproduction is not real so in this video I'm going to show you how to spot fake cartridges and how to tell the difference between uh, reproductions and authentic cartridges. There are several different ways that you can do. And I'm going to show you all of those in this video uh, video today. Then I'll also show you some postings on uh, eBay and what to look for when it comes to postings. And I'll also show you a tool kit to buy so that you can open the cartridges up uh, if you go into a mom and pop store to make sure that you're spending your hard earned money on the authentic product. You don't want to have to go and spend 90 or 100 dollars on something that is a reproduction that's not real it has really no value so when you go to sell that cartridge later on down the line because you're done playing it and you've got your retro fix and you're out of the house now and stuff like that you'll be able to get the top dollar for that authentic product all right so what i'm going to be showing you right now this is zelda there we go so that there is an authentic uh, cartridge of Zelda right there as you can see now a couple ways that you can tell that it's an authentic cartridge is if you look down here trying to get that squared up for you these screws right here they're going to be like a five star screw so the first thing you do is you look right there in the bottom and look at those screws when you get your cartridge let's see if I can get a little bit closer for you there you go. So you may not be able to really see that, but when you go to get that game, look down at the screws and make sure that they are the five star. Now, some uh, some reproductions will have those type of screws in there, but some won't. Some will just have Phillip head screws inside of there. No games back in the day came with Phillip head screws. They always put those um, five star screws in there, so it made it harder to open up. Uh, when you got the cartridge so definitely pay attention to that then on the back now you're definitely not going to be able to see it on this video but up here at the top right here let's see here at the top up here um, there is stamped a 03 so there is a 03 stamped into this uh, important information card right here and that's another way to tell that is an authentic cartridge now, a reproduction can stamp that, but usually they come from China and things like that, and they're not going to go that extra length to stamp those numbers. So it's like a serial number that's stamped right onto this cartridge, and you'll be able to see it as soon as you look at the back of any uh, Nintendo game, uh, Super Nintendo, NES, N64, you'll be able to see that stamped on here. So it's another way to be able to tell if this is an actual cartridge. So those are uh, two ways uh, that you can eyeball when you see the cartridge in a store to kind of gauge if it's real or not if you don't have the tools to be able to open up that cartridge and then another and last way is to look at the actual print up here and you want to look at this and this if you if it's a fake it's usually washed out colors it you know it's not shiny it just looks really bad and so you can kind of tell if this is but sometimes it's worn and damaged you won't be able to do that all right so we're going to go ahead and open this cartridge up and show you how we'll look in the inside. So before I do that, I'm going to show you this kit here. So this kit here I got from RetroModding.com. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that real quick. All 
and let me fix that for you it's uh it's flipped there we go all right so retromodding.com you can get this kit for six dollars and 99 cents and it comes with everything you need in there your game bit tools and everything you need to actually open up um, a cartridge a video game cartridge or a video game console it comes with the wedge it comes with the keys it comes with everything you need to be able to open it up so I think anybody that is collecting or anybody that's buying retro games or systems or whatnot this is a must-have for you to be able to make sure what you're investing your money in is the real deal or if you're buying a system it hasn't been hacked up inside and just all this crazy stuff done inside of that console protect your investment when it comes to this stuff because trust me retro gaming is going through the roof especially with all these new consoles Sony just announced that they're doing a digital console Microsoft's doing a digital console everybody's pushing to this digital future and retro gaming is starting to get go crazy man you see these one-up arcades coming out they're you know basically remaking the arcade experience that we had at home i mean or at the arcade when we were a kid now in your home so it's exploding so just please you know protect your investment spend the six dollars or wherever you can get it you don't have to get it from this website this is just where i got mine from but, you know, you can get it from uh, eBay, you can get it from Amazon, wherever you want to get it from. Just purchase something so you can protect your investment. And then you know exactly what it is that um, you're actually, you know, purchasing. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to this here. Just got to get this screen back up. There we go. All right, so that's the toolkit, as you can see right there. Hope that shows clean. I'm going to go ahead and pop it out, and we're going to open up this Zelda, and I'm going to show you what you should be looking for inside of the Zelda. So this one has a, what? so this is a six star, not a five star, but if you can see here, I know you can't really see that, but the tool, you'll need to be right in there and match right up with the cartridge itself. Then you just want to, actually that's the wrong one. So let me grab the right one. There we go. And all you'll do is take this tool and then you'll unscrew these bolts. Be very careful when you're doing it so that you don't strip the bolts but they, you know, it shouldn't be really bad. But if you have to get some, maybe a tad bit of WD-40 or something like that, you can put that in there. Um, just make sure you don't ruin your sticker of your cartridge. But that is out now. And then the top should come right off, like so. And then you should be able to see your game cart chip in there. And we'll flip that around. And then we'll show you this here. You can see that. Actually, I'm probably put on this other camera here. So what you want to look for is we can get that up there. Right there at the top, it says Nintendo. Right here at the top, it says Nintendo. Right there. There we go. We can focus now. My fingers in there. There we go. All right, so there we go. So you see it says 1990 Nintendo right there um, on the top right there. And then the chips are Toshiba. Then this one, because it has a game save, it has a battery in it. And you can kind of see how that battery is uh, mounted to that board. So if you open up the game cart, you want to look for that Nintendo right there. And then you want to look for those name brand uh, chips in there. This one has Toshiba in there. and But it will always... Um, say Nintendo right on the actual cart itself or board itself will say Nintendo so let's go ahead and put that back in there so that is the last basically last way to find out if any of those if you're not confident with any of those other ways that I spoke of before to check the last way will be to open up your actual cartridge to check and make sure that it says Nintendo on the cartridge in the inside and then, like I said, they'll always use, you know, um, name brand chips in there, too. So you see, like, Toshiba and other things like that. 
on some fake cartridges, it'll be big blobs of black glue in there. Most stuff will be covered up. It'll never say Nintendo on the board uh, inside of that cartridge. So that is game number one in a way to find out if your cartridge is real because you definitely want to be able to protect your investment, right? All right, so we'll go on to a Genesis game. So this game right here is Castlevania Bloodlines. This is a Konami game. So uh, on the back of this cartridge, because it was made by Konami, you will see Konami right here uh, engraved on the cartridge. Then also you'll see those game bits uh, right there. And you can see Konami right in there. And then you'll see the game bits in the back right there. So we'll go ahead and open this one up. And the Sega Genesis one takes the bigger uh, game bit. So we'll go ahead and open this right here. That one's on loose. And we'll go with this one here. Oops. Drop them a bit all over the place. And once again, just make sure that you don't strip your screws. You want to make sure it stays that way. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. And then in the inside, you'll see your board. And then when you flip it over, oh, let me get that there. Hopefully you can see it. It will say Konami right there on the board. So let me get you up here real close. Get my face out of there. There you go. So I'll say Konami right there on the board and give you a serial number right below it. And then the chip says Sega right there on the chip. So that's how you'll know that that cartridge is actually a real cartridge. All right. And then if you see here, it has a number in the inside right there. So you'll know that that game is actually a real game. So let's go ahead and close that up. Put those screws back in there. Yeah, I hate to see people investing their money in all of these retro games and they're getting ripped off because it's happening a lot. These repro, these repro carts and these just complete other fake cartridges that people are overcharging for and then when you go and sell it and if you're selling it if you're selling it to somebody that knows you know what's going on they will tell you like hey I'm not gonna buy that that's not a real cartridge and then you spent all your hard on money money excuse me on something that's not real all right so as I showed you uh, Super Nintendo and the Genesis game we're gonna go ahead and go to boxes so Show you two boxes right here that's one right there that's double dragon three flip it over for you all right and then i'll show you the other box that is rc pro-am right there both nintendo boxes okay i don't know if you can spot which one is real and which one is it if you can go ahead and put it down in the comment section for me let me know if you know off top which one is uh, real and which one is not uh, real but I'm gonna show you alright so when you look at these boxes and if I don't know if you can tell on camera or not but this one here is extremely glossy Nintendo uh, regular NES boxes would not come extremely glossy like this and you can kinda see it here in the camera how glossy that is but you know you never know um, so that's one way to tell uh, this one here is the authentic RC Pro-Am box right there. And as you can see, it doesn't have that super glossy finish on it. It's kind of a matte, nice color finish right there. So the Double Dragon one is the uh, fake reproduction box right there. All right, so another quick way to tell is to open the box up. So once you open the box up, at the top here, you'll see this gray cardboard finish inside of the box right there. On a Repro box you'll see it's white so this is a regular card stock this is a cardboard stock so inside of 
the real ones is going to be this off gray like color it looks like cardboard and on a repro you're going to see down here it's going to be white just like that a regular white card stock um, this over here is harder to to replicate when you for these here it can be done but most people are going to go that length to do it this way uh, so they just do it this way so that's the first uh, and final way to know that you have a reproduction box is not a real box alright so let's go ahead and move that out the way and then I'll show you on an NES cartridge take RC Pro-Am out so on the back of RC Pro-Am you can kinda see it right there what number is that? It's a 20 you can kinda see it right it's right up here um, Ooh, my hand right there so it's right up here it says number 20 it's stamped right into the cartridge right there so you'll be able to tell right there so that's one way like I told you before that you can tell that it is an authentic case and then you can get your tool and you can open it up so we'll go ahead and open this one up let me loosen this up real quick don't want to strip any of these screws there we go go ahead and untighten all of those and I'll show you what to see so if you look down here it says Nintendo 1995 on the back of the case and then we'll go ahead and top one isn't out all the way all right so all of those are out and then if you look right here it will say Nintendo again 1987 and I'll be able to show you on this one this camera a little bit better and get my face out of there Alright, so for whatever reason the camera is not focusing in on that. But right here at the top, it's going to say Nintendo right there. And then it says 1997 uh, right above it right there. And then on the chips, they'll have the serial number on the chips. And they'll say Nintendo on one of the chips too, two of the chips actually. So let me see if I can get that. there we go so you see it says Nintendo 1987 right there then that chip right there also says Nintendo and then this chip on the end also says Nintendo 1987 so that's a quick way to know about a regular NES cart to know if it's actually real or not and I really do hope, hope that this is helping you guys I want to make sure that when you get your games, you're getting real games, man. You're, we're getting a lot of repros coming from China, a lot of fake games coming from overseas and stuff, man. And people, are, they're getting over. People are spending their hard-earned money and a lot of money. Guys, I'm seeing games for, you know, $100, $200, you know, that people are buying. And then these games are just, they're just not real. So, you know, unfortunately, people are, are getting over on... People that want to go back and revisit, you know, games that they played as a kid. All right, so I'm just going to close this up and tighten this back up. And this is my authentic copy. I want to make sure that it's all put back together uh, correctly. I love RC Pro-Am, one of my favorite games uh, of all time. And then, so also inside the box on a real copy, a couple things that you'll get in, in the inside of a real game. First of all, you'll get the sleeve. Sleeve, for the most part, is say Nintendo. Some don't, um, but you should have, you know, a lot of them are say Nintendo. So you'll get that in there. And then you'll get your instruction manual, like so. Then at the very bottom, I don't know if this is going to come out or not. Let's see here. There we go. The very bottom, you'll have this little styrofoam square at the very bottom so if you have a complete 
box game. You'll have that little foam square in there. You'll have your instruction manual right there. You have your cartridge, and then you'll have this uh, sleeve right there. Now, I mean, if you purchase it that and it doesn't have all of that in there, it doesn't mean that it's fake. The person could have, you know, lost it as a kid or just doesn't have it anymore. Um, but as long as you verify that the game itself and the internals of that game is, is, is authentic, then you should be good to go. You're not always going to get everything in the box like that. All right, so, all right, we'll move on. So I'm going to show you some noticeable fakes. Um, you'll see these a lot on, on eBay. Some noticeable fakes, that right there, Super Mario Brothers 2, and then here's another one, Metroid. So, Metroid and Super Mario Brothers 2 never came in these cases, unless you may have bought them from a, um, a rental place. If you bought them from a rental place, they may have came in these plastic cases. Uh, that doesn't mean the cartridge is fake, that just means that the uh, box is fake and you open it up and it'll just be white in there and it'll just look plastic uh, Plastic like that. So that just means the box is fake. So look out for that If you're looking for original these are not original. These are these are fakes. These are reprints reproduction uh, cases and if You want that and you're okay with that then hey, but just know that this is not real This is not how NES games came back in the day unless you got them from maybe a rental place sometimes rental places had these uh because they didn't want to give you the real boxes to go home with and then sometimes they came in that but that is uh obvious fakes right there <laughs> all right we're moving on so these aren't so obvious right here so these are super nintendo uh games right here so these are reproduction boxes right here Ways to spot them is the same, like I told you last time, you open up the box, and inside you have the white stock right there, and then also the insert right here is going to be like a white, shiny, like plastic, and that's how repros are, are made, and that's how they come. Will an authentic one come like that? No, absolutely not, so we'll move that to the side, and I'll show you. Uh, my 1080 snowboarding game so as you can tell the difference once again I'll show you this one this one you can see is all glossy right there and super glossy and then if you look at this one here it's not glossy like that it's like a matte it's a nice shiny finish and it's matte but it's not super glossy and then if we open this up you will see it will come with a book and then it comes with this insert which is made out of cardboard you can see on the side there has that cardboard look and it's not all shiny like this one over here that is the shiny one compared to that one you kind of see that there you go so that those are reproductions now on N64 games it would be the same thing um, these are a little bit easier to notice if it's a real or a fake. So let me move this stuff out, this, out the way real quick. So on an N64 cartridge up at the top, you'll have Nintendo engraved into the actual cartridge right there. Now they can, re you know, do that and do a repro that has that in there. But this one here, it won't, uh... They, the repros won't look this good and they usually won't do that and then also if you look at the top here um, here let me try to show you on this camera get you a little bit better view you see how it says Nintendo right there there you go and then it has an eye and it right there and it's a square a repro will not have a square eye it have a circle eye right there so that's how you'll know it's fake or not and then also You'll see, you can kind of see the number uh, right there. It is stamped in there. It says 41. That's another way to know that this is an actual real cartridge. And then let's go ahead and open it up real quick. And I can show you how the inside of the N64 game uh, would look in the inside. So, and loosen this.
Yeah, and this helps everybody. This helps keep all the fakes out of the market, and it helps keep, you know, retro gaming alive, and everybody stays happy. So we can go ahead and open this. All right. So this one here, when you open it up, what do you see in there? You see this steel cart right there. Okay. So you have to get another tool to undo that. So this one will be a Phillips in the inside, but only in the inside. You won't have that um, on the outside. There is no Phillips on the outside. So go ahead and unscrew this. Fakes will not have this uh, steel shielding in it. So if you open it and you see, see this steel shielding, you can probably just close it back up for the most part. Um, because fakes won't go and they won't put this in there. But, like I said, you can always open it up further. Take that off. These are tough to get out. So what I'll do is I'll just take the cart out real quick. Leave that in there. And then if you look right here on the cart, it'll say, I'm going to show you up here. Take that off real quick. Right there, you'll see Nintendo. Nintendo 1997. Then you'll see Nintendo on the chips also. Then you'll see your battery right there too. So that's for an NES, um, excuse me, not NES, but that is for a N64 cart. Let me put that back in there. Yeah, they won't, uh, reproductions won't go through those steps to actually do that. So I'll actually do that in a little bit. I'll leave that one over here and I'll do that in a little and fix that. There we go. So that is how you can tell if you have a fake or a reproduction cart. So lastly, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go on eBay real quick. And we are going to switch this to this here. And then we'll go to eBay. So I went ahead and found a fake for you already so this one right here is Castlevania bloodlines um, it looks really good you can barely tell that that that's a fake cartridge right there but it is it's a repro they have the box they have the instructions they have everything and they're charging $80 for a reproduction cart for Castlevania bloodlines which I think is re uh, ridiculous um, but up here at the top it does say f uh, fine repro so it does say at the top that it is a repro not all of them are going to tell you that um, sometimes you have to look into you have to go down here in the description and it says this is a repro a great one not collectible game It's really new uh, it was in shrink wrap when they got it so they're letting you know that it's a repro cart but not all people on eBay are going to be that upfront with you um, they may not tell you they just may say Castlevania bloodlines and just leave it at that and then you think, you know, it's a real cart. They never said it was authentic and they never said it was fake. They just said Castlevania Bloodlines. So you want to make sure you do your research when going and purchasing those games. So I just wanted to do this video to let you guys know about what's going on in the community and what's what's happening with, you know, the retro gaming community and people selling fakes, man. If you're going to go out and spend your hard-earned money, know what it is that you're buying. Um, use these steps to be able to find out if it's an actual authentic cartridge, authentic game, authentic box art and all of that so that you have invested in something because if you're spending 80, 90, 100, sometimes $200 on something and it's not real, you wasted your money. There is no resale value in that purchase. You're not going to be able to get that uh, dollar back once you go and sell it because a collector is going to tell you hey that's not real or if you go and take it to a game store and they know what they're doing they're going to say this is not real we cannot take this 
if they know what they're doing. So use all of these things that I showed you today to be able to find out if the cartridge or the game that you're purchasing is real. Trust me, you want to do that because you do not want to have you know some fake merchandise so I've took up enough of you guys time say this video is over 30 minutes now I really do appreciate you coming over and watching the video be the cool guy or girl to drop a like right there it really helps out on the channel and if you aren't already subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that when I post content like this or anything on the channel you'll be notified when I do that I'm gonna be doing more content like this letting you guys know about things in the community showing you collections showing you some game stores in the area and stuff like that um, and just not doing unboxings like I've done in the past so I'm digging a little deeper into the channel and doing some new stuff so I appreciate you stopping by and I'll check you on the next video